So today I'm going to show you how to back up the Cisco IS onto a TFTP server. All you need to have a TFTP server, a router and a PC consoled into the router. So um, before that you need to configure the TFTP server. Uh, in the real environment obviously you have to configure the here it's already done. All you need to do is turn the service on and that's about it give it an IP address which is this IP address uh, or you can give anything you like I've given it a, as a, that address so we uh, you need to go into the terminal click OK you, you, now you have console into the router uh, pardon me guys the font is too small and I can't enlarge the font so I'll go it go over here onto the router and I guess now you can see the font because it was uh, small over there but in the real environment you can't do that you have to console into the router which you, you'll be using this interface so all you need to do over here is try to pin the TFTP server before you want to back up the before you want to back up any file because you, you have to be sure about it. Okay, we can ping it. I'll do a show flash where it will show the image the file name flash file name this is the exact file name you need to copy uh, the command you need to use is copy flash tftp hit enter it will ask you the source file name which is the source uh, flash file name of the stored into the router uh, copy and paste it over here hit enter it will ask you the IP address of the uh, TFTP server which is this hit enter and it will ask you that do you want to keep this as a file name I will say yes before that I'll show you onto my TFTP server there's no file over here okay so if I if you if I, if you want to change the uh, file name you can do it but you want to keep uh, the same file name hit enter okay it says it has copied onto the TFTP server you, you can go onto the TFTP server and voila here's the file okay so now if you want to restore your file back onto the router the command is just the opposite of that which I typed copy tftp flash which means copy file from the tftp server onto my flash which is stored on router hit enter it will ask you the IP address which will be sorry okay this address and the source file name would be you have to copy the exact source file name because otherwise it would give an error this is the source file name you have to type in the exact name if you might ha have changed the file name so please make sure you type in the exact file name and hit enter and if it says do you want to keep this as a file name hit enter and it asks you to confirm it whether you want to overwrite it if you have a previous image onto it it will overwrite it and it will erase that thing and hit enter that's about it this is okay when you are doing it in your home environment or a, a packet tracer exercise if you want to do this in a real environment in a company or something like that you have to make sure you back up your old iOS onto the TFTP server and then try to upgrade or 
uh, do or restore from uh, from the TFTP server because otherwise if you lose the iOS image and the config and you have to also back up the startup config or the running config whichever it is because if you find that uh, the when loading the new iOS you have a problem with that you can always go back to your old configuration or if you want to copy the running config or if you want if you want to copy running config in the startup config is one and the same and tftp the I can't nine two one sixty eight dot two dot two five two five four and then the destination file name is okay you can type it as it is or you can type whatever you want but I'll type in this okay it has overwritten on that go on to the TFTP server here is the startup config file and if you want to restore back onto your router all you need to type in just the reverse of it copy tftp startup hit enter type in the server address dot two dot two five four and the source file name which is not dot bin but this file and the destination file start up destination file start up config okay hit enter and the file is being copied onto the startup config so that's about it I hope you all understood uh, how to call uh, back up your Cisco IS on the FTP server and if you want to do this in a home lab or yeah so all you need to have a router and a PC console into the router and you need to have a crossover cable from the router to the PC and there will be a TFTP server stored onto this because here I can't show you because there's no TFTP server on here and I can configure over here if it was a real thing I could have done it so this is how you can do it the commands are the same okay thanks thanks for watching i hope uh, you all understood thanks again